Come. Welcome back, everyone. Beautiful start to this Thursday. It was nice and cool and not very humid, and that's all thanks to a cold front that passed through the region, and it's going to stay not humid for this afternoon, feeling nice and dry with mostly sunny skies, at least for the first part of the day. But later on today and tonight, those clouds will start to come back, and this cool down is short-lived. Yes, it will be cool for tonight, but it is warmer just in time for tomorrow and just in time for our Saturday and Sunday. So enjoy the cooler weather for today. Speaking of cool, temperatures are not too bad right now. 73 in McAllen, 74 in Westlaco, 74 in Brownsville, 75 in Raymondville, and 76 in Edinburgh. And look at the current winds between the north and northeast, anywhere from 5 to 16 miles. Now we have a wind gust of 24 in Harlingen and 25 in Port Isabel. Your day planner forecast looks nice at 3 p.m. Partly cloudy skies, less humid with a temperature of 74 degrees. We're down to 70 degrees at 6 o'clock this evening under partly cloudy skies. We expect more clouds later on tonight and it's cooler with a temperature of 65 degrees at 9 o'clock this evening. All right, here is a surface map and the big blue H high pressure at the surface is centered over Missouri, Arkansas, and Oklahoma and Kansas and we're getting winds from the north to northeast here in the valley. The front has cleared the region, but we have a warm up on the way for tomorrow and just in time for our weekend. On future track, it stays dry for today, mainly dry for tomorrow with still some clouds in place. But we're back in the 80s for tomorrow for the highs and for Saturday and back to 90 on Sunday. But another front is on the way. It should arrive here in the valley by between Monday and Tuesday. But the clouds really come back for this coming Monday and Tuesday. And the cool down returns just in time for the start of next week. So in addition to that front, we have a big upper level storm system coming in from the southwest. It'll be over Oklahoma by next Tuesday. But when that upper low is to the west of us, we can count on the clouds and the forecast to be in place along with cooler weather and a better chance for some rain, especially Monday and Tuesday. I think by next Wednesday, the sun finally starts to come back. So uh, the key word, key words are cloudy, cool and wet for next Monday and Tuesday. Dry for today, mainly dry tomorrow. Tomorrow, dry for Saturday with a slight chance of some rain by late Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. On the water, small craft should use caution offshore. We have winds out of the northeast at 10 to 15 knots. Bay waters are moderate chop. Your next tide is a high tide at 429 this afternoon, and the seas are 3 to 7 feet. So a nice day today, a mild day, partly sunny with a high temperature of 74. And then for tonight, it's a cool Thursday night. The clouds do come back. The winds become light later on with a low temperature of 61 degrees. Here's that seven day forecast. A couple of the days are warm, even hot. Other days are cool, and you can see why. 83 tomorrow, partly sunny skies, mainly dry. It is muggy and breezy on Saturday and warmer, a high of 88 degrees. Look at Sunday, mostly sunny, hot and breezy, a high temperature of 90. There is a 20% chance of some showers late Sunday afternoon into the evening, followed by a better chance of rain Monday and Tuesday. We'll call for a 50% chance of rain Monday and a 40% chance of rain on Tuesday with highs only in the mid 70s on Monday. We're back to the upper 60s for Valentine's Day Tuesday with a morning low of 56 down to 50 degrees by Wednesday morning. The sun does come back for next Wednesday with highs in the lower 70s. That's your first Warren 5 forecast. Now here's Dina.